Hello everyone, this is Jason Fain from Instructional Design and Development and today I'm going to talk about editing your learning modules and your course template. So this is the hybrid online course template that we're providing everyone and so everybody should have a similar setup. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on learning modules under course tools and I'm going to click on the module I'd like to edit. Now we've provided you with 15 different learning modules hopefully you won't have to use them all and if you need to create more we'll have tutorials later showing you how to do that but for now let's go ahead and click into learning module 1 so we can learn how to just create our content and kind of edit these pages so here you can see kind of the pages that we've provided um, this additional content is hidden but we can always unhide it by going to show item and we can always rehide it by going to hide item we've provided you with four pages the first one's your module introduction and guide. This tells students the order that you would like them to view the materials. One of the problems with online courses is that sometimes when a student clicks into it, they're not sure what material they should view first, second, or third. The next thing we have here is learning objectives. This one tells the students what your learning expectations are, so the student knows what they should focus on when studying, and they won't go off on a tangent studying something that they shouldn't be studying at all. The third item is reading assignments, so any reading, assi uh, reading materials that you have, it could be worksheets, it could be uh, book materials, or it could be external websites, so you can edit your reading assignments here. The last thing which I've hidden is additional content, and that is any extra materials after they've performed uh, the reading assignments, the any test or assignment, or test or assessments that you have, or assignments that you have, once they completed all of those things this might be some additional content that you can link into so with that said let me go ahead and show you how to edit one of these I'm gonna edit the module introduction and guide so what we're gonna do is click the action link and then click edit properties now once you're here you'll see a bunch of code that may be hard to understand it's a little cryptic luckily we have the enable HTML creator button and what that does is kind of translates it for you so it looks kind of like a word document now one of the things I do is this is kind of a very small window to work within. What I do is if you click this button frame window mode it pops it out for you and we can actually move it and we can resize it so we have a little bit more space to work with as opposed to working within that small little window area. So now you can see my module guide and this is telling the students what to do, read the learning modules, complete the reading assignments, lecture presentation, everything else. So what we can do is just kind of erase this and then start from scratch. So what I would do is say something like read your learning objectives. Then I might have a pre-quiz, so I'll go ahead and put in do the pre quiz and this wouldn't be for a grade we'd have a pre quiz and a post quiz just to gauge students learning and involvement then I would probably put uh, read or do doesn't matter read everything in your assigned reading list then we might have them participate in a discussion Whoops. And we even have spell check. That's one of the really nice things. My spelling's terrible, but I can right click, go to suggestions, and just change it. Participate in a discussion, do the um, assignment, and then finish with the post quiz. And like I said, you can even tell, you can maybe even call it something different. But the reason why we would suggest a pre quiz and a post quiz is just to kind of uh, gauge what the students have learned. And with that done, with that done, th with this done, this concludes our our editing of this. So what we can do is, if you click this little square up here, it pops it back in to this little window, and we can scroll down, and we can select any goals that we might have, and then we can click save. If we wanted to give them any goals, we just click the select goals button, and then all of your goals that you've set up, you can go ahead and click those in as well, and add those into it. Then we can click save and now we are finished with the module introduction and guide and we can always select the action link and preview and we can actually see what it would look like we've also provided a sample learning module and that contains everything um, already filled out for you so you can kind of look at that as a role model and with that said this concludes our tutorial on learning modules